I'm Derek Klobuchar with SAP. I'm here at Sapphire Now 2018 to check out how intelligent technologies are helping organizations create personalized experiences across channels. SAP C4 HANA helps users deliver a consistent end-to-end -end customer journey, as we see with Lisa, who begins her journey by looking online for inspiration. Now Lisa's looking for a dress, so she's going to go on Pinterest. She sees this pink petal dress, as you see on the mannequin. She clicks on it, and right away she's led to the website where it is already personalized based on her last interaction. Our homepage's personalization includes the dress that Lisa just clicked, so she can easily find the product page and see details such as price, sizes, and other information. Um, but she sees that the dress is $1,000, so she's like, you know what, I'm going to sleep on it because, you know, it's not, it's not exactly cheap. Before Lisa leaves, our web store asks her to sign up for exclusive offers and updates, and we get her consent, all of which she can do using logins from her social networks. Lisa gets special promotions from her favorite brand, and the retailer can combine Lisa's data with that of other customers. And these attributes can be used as building blocks to build very specific target groups. Now let's look at how to build a campaign to reach these target groups, starting with customers who live near our brick and mortar stores. Because it's an email campaign, I want to make sure that they're opted in to uh, email communications. I also want to leverage predictive scores. So the machine learning that really helps us really see what are the customers that we should be targeting. And this specific example, I want to use buying propensity. Right now, we're looking for customers with a propensity to buy dresses. A predictive score will help us improve our accuracy. What's great is that we can also target by uh, interests. So throughout all the interactions that the customers are having with the retailer, the brand, across all the channels, we're actually able to capture the interest of the customer and it is showcased in this word cloud that you see here. And for this particular group, this particular campaign, I want to select people who uh, are interested in dresses. Now finally, because this campaign is a promotion in New York, I want to make sure I'm targeting people who live within a certain uh, mile radius of where the campaign is held. So in just a few clicks, you can easily build a target group for your campaign. And data visualization technology helps you better see every attribute you choose to use as a building block. So here is a campaign designer screen where on the left hand side, you see a variety of different actions you can use for your campaign. And the actions are both online and offline. Campaigns for people who live farther away from a brick and mortar store could feature general email messages that point customers towards our web store. Shoppers in closer proximity get more personalized messages based on the nearest store's inventory. I want to say that if the dress is in inventory, then I would feature the dress that the customer is looking for as a hero of the email. But if the dress is not in inventory, through a recommendation engine, I would feature the dress that is the second best that the customer, uh, the target group would most likely want to buy. Now here you see an overview of the campaign, and within one click, it's sent. Now back to Lisa. She receives an email, she's tempted again, she really wants to dress. She goes back on the website. She's looking at the reviews, and she sees that people are saying that the dress, is, uh, dress actually runs small. So she uses the chat function, where the chatbot is actually able to identify her based on her email, and she tells the chatbot she needs help with size. The chatbot provides a sizing chart for Lisa. It also knows when to transfer her to a live agent who can immediately access Lisa's profile, including her conversation with the chatbot and her purchase history, especially a specific dress that she ordered a while back. So she asked Lisa, how was the fit of that dress? She's like, wonderful, it fit like a glove, beautiful. And he's like, you know what, in that case, that's the size you should get because it's, similar, uh, it's a similar fit. The live agent then verifies that Lisa's closest store has the dress in her size in stock. So he tells her that she should probably go try it on in store. She's like, perfect, I know this store very well. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try it. And he also reminds her that there's a 10% off uh, in store for the dresses right now. Lisa is super excited. She can't wait to go try it on. Meanwhile, a clienteling app notifies an in-store associate that Lisa is on her way in for the dress. He can also see details about the products she's interested in. And through the recommendation engine, is able to identify certain accessories that she most likely would want to buy and that pairs best with the dress. He prepares everything for her for when she comes in. She's really excited, she's in awe of the dress. She tries it on in a cabin, and of course she's in love with everything. And so she splurges. Fast forward a few weeks, Lisa is at an event, and she's so thrilled with the dress that she posts about it on social media. Her friends and followers learn about the dress, and the retailer gets a 360-degree profile of a happy customer. 
and you see that we actually capture her interactions on both online and offline uh, channels. Let's say her interactions on Instagram, in the store, the live agent. All of this, gathered alongside data about Lisa's interests, as well as predictive scores about her, help us understand Lisa's customer journey on the individual level. So of course, on a day-to-day -day basis, the marketing team will not go into Lisa James' uh, profile and see how should I target to Lisa James, but what this shows you is just how granular we can go to see um, how we can really personalize a customer experience. That's all for now from Orlando. For SAP, I'm Derek Overture.